Now I would like to share with you how to use the online analyzer, Strian Structure Analysis. You can, uh, in the Google, just type Strian Analyzer, you will find this Structure Analyzer. Analyzer, Strian, Structure Analysis. This is a free online structure analysis software and it can be applied, used in PC, Android, and iPad. Let's have a look on the interface of the Strian. So now, if you look at, uh, we have a, a, a row of this uh, menu. You can have, uh, this is new, open, set, zoom, zoom in or out, sections, support, hinge, loading, solving and uh, this is a graph and the setting so now if you look at uh, uh, the we call this a uh, paper here with the grid line this paper is uh, very small so we can go to the setting here and uh, there will be several uh, uh, items here either the you need to enlarge your drawing scale uh, Two, two bar labels, SI units. Okay, you put it on here. And now here is the paper size. We can put it a larger paper size, for example, 20, 20. So we apply here. And now your paper just turn larger than it, it uh, uh, original initially. So now uh, we will solve this problem, uh, the given problem in this uh, structural analyzer. Okay, here if you look at the problem, we have uh, two span of beam, uh, three meter each of this span. So I'm going to draw the span, the first span. So I will click on any uh, point in this paper. Okay, try to utilize uh, the ruler, okay, or the grid. Huh? So now I will click on here, my first point A, and I'm going to draw the point B which is three meter apart. So now I will, uh, if you look, we have another uh, box pop out here, which you will know that uh, how much you uh, uh, move or change, okay, uh, your uh, 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 beam. So right now I want uh, to have three meter apart. Now from the DX, you can see that it's already three meter. So I will just click on this. This is, will be my point B. I can also, uh, manually uh, type in this box. For example, my next point is point C, which is also three meter apart. So I will just type it the axis three. Uh, I don't have any change in the Y direction. So I will click in zero. So I just click apply, apply. So now I have two beams ready uh, for me to uh, further my uh, assignment on the sections and supports. Okay, I'll click off it. And then now I would like to put it, uh, uh, put the supports, assign the supports to my beam. If you look at the problems again, I have a, a, a pin at A, pin support at B and also C. So now I will click on the, at the uh, button of support. Here, there are many types of supports here that you can choose. For, the, for my problem, I have pin, so I have to run it. Then I will pick up the nodes, not A, not B, and not C. Then I have assigned my supports. Next, I would like to assign my sections. You can put uh, the exact uh, value of your area, your eye, your moment in, uh, initial, and the young modulus. Or if you don't have this uh, uh, value in mind, for a start to get the support reaction, shear force and bending moment, you can just type one, okay? For each of these I, A and E. And uh, since we have only one section properties here, then I will just create uh, the first section with the ID one, then I save the entry. Now, if you can see that the section one has been created. Now I can select which are the section one. So after I select the, the, uh, the B, uh, the uh, respective spans, I apply this section to the selected. And now section one has been assigned to two selected objects here. Okay. So 
So I will deselect uh, the sections right now. And I don't have any hinge in my beam. So I do not uh, uh, show you on the hinge, but I have a loading. Okay, then I will click on the loading here. Now, if you look at the loads, there is a single distributed and you can also remove if you have accidentally put in the wrong loading. Now I will put in the distributed order span one. Okay, let's say uh, the, the loads for the span one is uh, 10 kilonewton. So let's say the uh, un uh, uniformly distributed load is 10 kN per meter. So therefore, you can just put in here, F is 10. So we will just run it. And then we will hit the uh, starting point at A. And then it will run until B. So now the 10 kN per meter uh, loading have been uh, uh, assigned to your first span. Now we want to assign the point load the, or concentrated load on your span two. So now we are going to click on the single. So for the first 20 kilonewton, we're going to put 20 kilonewton. There is an angle uh, here. Uh, what is this angle means? This angle means this, uh, if you see that, these angles. So if you have uh, uh, the loading, uh, as what uh, stated in the problem, the angle is zero. So you don't need to uh, put in any angles here. So I will just run it. But right now, uh, my uh, 20 kilonewton is one meter from B, okay? So here, if you close, you put your cursor close to the beam, okay, you will see that there is a indication on the coordinates. Okay, now I will click uh, at one meter, okay? So my 20 kN uh, has been assigned to the second uh, spans and another 20 kN will be at uh, 2 meter from B. So it will be here. So I'll click it again. So now you have uh, successfully put in all the uh, loads, uh, assigned the supports and also the section properties. We can uh, solve the problem just clicking this uh, button. So now, if you can see that there is an error pop up, the extreme of nodes rotation exceeds the limits. Don't worry about this. This is because you put one, uh, if you uh, still remember, just now when you assign the section, you just put one and one and one here. So now the deflection has uh, uh, exceeded the limits. Okay, it is just to warn you that to put in the proper, appropriate uh, A, I, and E uh, parameters. But uh, uh, we do not intend to get the rotation and displacement in this case. Uh, therefore, we can just proceed. And the uh, answer is, are uh, all the answers are reliable. Okay, so now this is the support reactions uh, for the uh, A, support reaction for B, and support reaction for C. We can also uh, draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram okay, by clicking this one. So now there are many diagrams that you can generate. First of all, okay, you can on or off your support or reaction. For example, I off the reactions. So now your reactions will be uh, uh, yeah, disappeared. So I own it back. So now I want to uh, uh, draw a support, uh, support sorry, uh, uh, bending moment diagram. So you here, so you just on the bending moment diagram. Now, this is your bending moment. Maybe this is just too small uh, for you to have. Uh, have you can always zoom, uh, zoom the uh, paper so that you can view, have a clearer view. So now this is your, this is your bending moment diagram with the maximum value uh, indicated, okay, at the mid span and also at the sports, okay. You can also plot it uh, reversely, okay, in such a way, okay, uh, with your preference.
So we can also of the bending moment diagram and have a look on the shear force diagram. For example, the this is on. Okay, the this will be the shear force diagram for this case. You can zoom in if you don't see it clearly. Okay, on your shear force diagram. Okay, now you can also have a look on the axial force diagram because uh, we don't have any axial force uh, in, so we don't have any. Once I own the diagram, there is, yeah, there is no okay, diagrams. But the deflection right now, uh, you is you you can plot it, but it is not reliable because you don't put in a a, a right value for the a, i, and e. Once you have uh, input the right value, this value will be uh, according to the calculations. Okay, so. I think uh, this is uh, all my share. Thank you.